Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a box of 2020 Topps Chrome Formula One. Uh, random team break number 19. We sell 10 spots. There's the randomizer, or there's the 10 teams right there, but there's no randomizer because once again, Josh Edlitz picked up all the spots. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And good luck. Now, as we saw in the previous videos, we only have three boxes left. So here are the boxes right here. I think one of them must have been a loose box from somewhere else. I feel like unless the number got wiped off of the... Either way, there's three boxes right here. So we're going to roll the dice. We'll pick that red one right there. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. The dice is all the way over there. And it's four. One, two, three, four. So middle box right here. All right, and let's see what we got here. Big win for Lewis Hamilton over the weekend. And now he is just, I don't know, maybe less than maybe a dozen points behind Max Verstappen with only two races left. And I, I don't know when the next race is. Is it this weekend? December 5th? No, I think they're traveling. So not this weekend, but next weekend. We'll go through all the practices and qualifying and, and, and the race. In, uh, in Saudi Arabia. They were in Qatar before. In Saudi Arabia. And I think the week after that would be the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And basically, I think if... Basically, Lewis Hamilton just has to win. Win each race. Win and he's in. And he's the champion. Or I guess just be ahead of... Verstappen in any scenario, but Max Verstappen, I think, is pretty much the model of consistency. Is from what I'm what I'm reading. I don't think his he has placed below first or second. I think there's like 22 races. I think you might be able to count on one hand how many times he's finished out of the first two spots. So to expect him to finish out of the podium spots, I think seems unlikely. So you'd have, just have to assume that short of, of just engine failure in the car or something like that. But I don't think that happens too often with that team either. So essentially, Lewis Hamilton just has to win. Verstappen just has to do what he's been doing all season. And then he'd be the winner. So, pretty exciting. Pretty exciting finish to the Formula One season. I think it's one of the more closer finishes we've seen in a little while. Well, let's see. Let's see the cards. It's kind of stuck together a little bit here. There's Lewis Hamilton. There's his car. And there's the Grand Prix driver of the day insert, Max Verstappen. More Lewis Hamilton. These cards are stuck together a little bit. Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas.
And we've got an orange Carlos Sainz. You can see 25 out of 25, the smooth operator. Lando Norris. That's his rookie card right there. One of the young up and coming stars of F1. There's Checo. Daniel Ricardo, George Russell, Valtteri Bottas. George Russell will be Lewis Hamilton's teammate next year. It's his rookie card. Alexander Albon to 399. Also a rookie card. First stopping. Lewis Hamilton. It's kind of crazy to think that I just forget how how old Lewis Hamilton is. I want to say he's like he's got to be like thirty five or thirty six. He's thirty six. Just he'll be turning thirty seven in January. Which for for F1 driving, I think, I think you can drive into your early 40s. So he must have a couple more, should have a two or three more, you know, sort of elite tier seasons left before we start looking at a drop off, maybe in the early, early 40s, perhaps. But yeah, he's a lot older than, than I just always think that he's a lot younger, but as opposed to like like Lando Norris is only twenty two, you know. His next year's teammate, Lewis Hamilton's teammate, George Russell, twenty three. There's Lance Stroll to three ninety nine. There's Verstappen. Nothing too crazy in this box. Um, Joshua, but I appreciate you getting all the spots and taking the chance on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got two boxes left, and I don't see any more. I haven't noticed any more in the store, so that might be our, our last two boxes of Topps Chrome F1 Hobby Edition for, uh, for a little while. So if you're interested, get in on it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And Joshua, thank you again. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.